In 100 days, part 2, part 3, part 4, part 5, the final video of the 100 days. This is the final Suba series video that I will ever going to upload on this channel. I just want to say thank you to all of you who have continued to support me ever since throughout this far. But it's time for me to move on. So I hope you enjoy this final series. Day 1 so I chose Nyx as my starter and started the gameplay tutorial. I'm going to grab this weapon here, and I'm going to destroy this guard and defeat that duke. And I'm going to name myself 100 Day. Alright, now I will continue the tutorial gameplay and ran myself into the fire in order to end the game as quickly as possible. There we go, and gain some trophies. Continue following the tutorial, and again I try to run myself into the fire to end the tutorials. There we go, and gain some trophies. And continue the tutorial a little bit. Alright, so just to show you guys, the only character I have is Nyx. I will try to unlock all of the characters in day 100, so wish me luck. So next, I will try to collect as many tokens as possible to upgrade my Nyx to a higher level. So I'm going to unlock these crates. Collect 100 coins here, and spend the coins on these Nyx tokens here. I'm going to collect some more coins from my Nyx trophy road, and there we go. We have enough to upgrade Nyx to level 3. Next, I will head to battle. I will try to defeat as many enemies as I can throughout the game. Alright, nice. Nice. Let me kill this Larry. One shot. Nice. Oh, that Larry is invincible. Nice. And there we go. I won the game with 14 kills and got myself a golden crate on this first try, which is extremely lucky. I continue battling again, killing as many enemies as possible. There we go. Nice. One shot. Nice. I won again, gaining some more trophies and allow me to reach League 2. And now I can unlock these available characters. Alright, so I'm not going to open this emerald crate yet. I'll have to wait for the right time, which allow me to unlock a better character. Now I'll collect 5 gems from my next trophy road, unlock this bronze crate by timing, and continue my battling. And again, I try not to lose to win trophies. Nice one shot, killing this Henry, killing this Louis. Oh, look at that Ollie. Okay, I have a hard time killing that Donna, which brought me second place, but I still got some trophies. Day 2. So, I continue my battling, but this time, by hiding. Oh nice, that Finn couldn't even see me. Subscribe. Anyway, in the end, I defeated Buck and won the game, gaining more trophies and allow me to reach League 3. And now, I can unlock these available characters. Alright, so next, I will open this bronze crate and continue grinding for more trophies got another bronze crate. I waste my gem unlocking these two bronze crates and continue my battle. I'm battling with this Shelly. Nice. Oh, I missed that. And managed to defeat it and gain some trophies. Got another bronze crate which I'm going to waste my gem opening it. And continue my battling. Grinding for trophies. Again, I got another bronze crate which I have to waste my gem again and continue my battling again. After this battle, I got myself a second gold crate. That's great, and I continue grinding for more trophies. Next, I'm going to collect some resources from my next trophy road, and continue grinding for more trophies. I still have to waste my gem on this bronze crate, and continue my battling. Alright, I'm killing this guard, kill this Milo. Awesome. There we go, I won the game. And this time, I got myself an Emerald Crate, which is extremely rare. Awesome. Alright, and now I have to waste my gem opening this Bronze Crate. And let's continue battling. Filling this guard. Another one here. Grind for as many trophies as I can. And after a while of grinding, I came across my last Golden Crate to fill the slot. Alright, perfect. And after gaining a lot of trophies, I have also reached League 4. And now I can unlock these available characters. Alright, and now I'll collect some resources from my Nick Trophy Road and I will open these crates tomorrow. Day 3 So, I guess we'll have to wait a bit for this gold crate to be able to open. 3, 2, 1, and there. Now let's open this first one. So I will use my all 5 second trick to open all of these crates. 
I tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking me a new character. Buck. Okay, Buck is pretty good. Alright, that's good. And I don't need to reroll. Alright, and now for the second gold crate. Again, I have to wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it. Nothing so far. I reroll. And I still got nothing. But it's okay, let's open this emerald crate. Again, I have to wait for 5 seconds. And I'm going to tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking me a new character. Bruce. Alright, that's pretty good. I don't need to reroll. And now for the last gold crate. So I'm just gonna open it. Wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Nothing. I tried to reroll and I still got nothing. Alright, so we have two characters so far. Next, I'm going to upgrade my next to level 4. And I also try to buy more tokens so that I can upgrade to level 5. Unfortunately, the tokens ran out, so I decided to open one of these wooden crates, but it gave me Bruce. So I reroll and finally I got one Nyx token. This is enough for me to upgrade Nyx to level 5. There we go, level 5. Alright, and now I will continue battling. Let's kill this Jay. Nice. So I won the game and continue to grind for more trophy. Defeat some more enemies. And after the battle, I found a gold crate. Okay, so these bronze crates are taking up space, so I have to waste my gems opening one. For the gold crate, I'll unlock it by timing. I try another battle and try to defeat this Bruce, and there we go. Gain some more trophies. Alright, I'll grab this emotes, and I will see you tomorrow. Day 4. So I decided to play this fun mini game of shooting duckies for some prizes. So I took down the right duck with a jackpot on this first try. So let's open this bronze crate. Alright, and now for the second level. I took down the green duck which gave me a jackpot of a gold crate. So let's open it. I'm going to wait for 5 seconds. And tap on it. Nothing. I try to reroll. And it's unlocking me a new character. Iris. Okay. Alright, and now for the third level, I took down this blue duck which gave me the jackpot of a golden toolbox. So let's open it. Alright. And now for the fourth level, I took down the upper purple duck which gave me 500 gems. So I decided to waste it on another arrow. So I took down this yellow duck which gave me the jackpot of an emerald crate. So let's open it. So again, I'm going to wait 5 seconds for this. Tap on it. I got nothing, but when I reroll, it's unlocking me a new character, Larry. Alright, Larry is good, and I don't need to reroll. Alright, so I'm going to stop at level 5, but I have to waste my gem on another arrow, so the game will save my progress when I leave. Alright, so so far, I've unlocked 4 characters. Day 5. Alright, so I opened all of the bronze crate in order to have more slots. And I'm going to continue my battling. I'll have to be careful not to die during the game, grinding as many trophies as I can. But throughout some battle, I got another gold crate. There we go. And so, I waste some gem opening this bronze crate. Alright, so next, I grab Buck and upgrade him to at least level 7. Alrighty. And start battling. Now Buck is very easy to defeat players and easy to win. Defeating this guard, this fuzzy, and there we go, I won. Alright, I got a bronze crate from winning, so I have to waste some gem opening it. And continue battling again. Defeat as many enemies as possible. And continue grinding for as many trophies as I can. And there we go, which allow me to reach League 5. And now, I can unlock these available characters. Day 6 So, after opening all of the bronze crate from the slots, I decided to get back to the minigame. It saved my progress from last time, so I will continue on level 5. I took down the blue duck which gave me 200 gems. So I waste the gem and bought another arrow. Took down this white duck which gave me 500 gems. I waste more gem buying another arrow. Took down this cool duck which gave me 200 gems again. I kept wasting more gem shooting the wrong duck until I finally took this green duck which gave me the jackpot. So now let's open this emerald crate. I'm going to wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it. And there we go, it's unlocking me a new character. Max! Alright, that's nice. 
Max is kind of like Nick, so he's really good. Alright, and I will start from here since I don't want to waste any more gem, but I really don't want to lose the progress, so I have to waste my gem for another arrow before leaving. Oh, and by the way, I'm not going to open these golden crates yet. So, I have unlocked 5 characters so far. Day 7. So, I decided to grab Buck and maybe upgrade him to level 8. Alrighty, level 8. And continue my battling. I defeat this Milo, won the game, but this time, I got myself another golden crate. And there we go. Alright, and now I will need one more gold or emerald crate, so I will continue battle and kill as many enemies as possible. And after the battle, I got... Never mind, it's just a bronze crate. So I guess I have to open this bronze crate by timing. Day 8. So after opening the bronze crate with one slot open left, I collect some gem from my buck trophy road and continue battling. And after a while of grinding, I finally got another gold crate to fill up the slot. Okay, now I'll go ahead and open this bronze crate from buck trophy road. And now let's open this gold crate. So I'm just going to wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it, nothing so far. I try to reroll, and it's unlocking me a new character, Paolo. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, and now for the second gold crate. Again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, I got nothing. I reroll, and I still got nothing. Alright, and now for the last two, I will not open it yet. So I continue to grind with my box for more trophies. Day 9 So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to start opening this gold crate. So let's start with this one. I'll wait for 5 seconds. I'll tap on it. Nothing so far. I try to reroll and I still got nothing. Alright, and now for this last gold crate. Again, I have to wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far. I try to re-roll, and I still got nothing. Alright, so I continue to battle with my buck and try to defeat the game. Grinding for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across another golden crate. Alright, so let's battle more. Defeating more enemies. Okay, buck is too good, he's killing too many enemies. And I defeat the game, gain more trophies. Now I'm going to collect 10 gems from my bug trophy road and continue grinding again. Day 10. So this is the final day of part 1. Alright, so after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to open this gold crate too. Again, I have to wait for 5 seconds. And then I tap on it. And oh my god, it's unlocking me a new character. Ollie, nice. Ollie is really good. Alright, awesome. And I don't need to reroll. I continue to grind for trophy with my bug until I reach at least almost a thousand trophy, which allow me to reach League 6. And these are the available character I can unlock. I'm going to collect some resources from my bug trophy road. Next, I grab Larry and try to upgrade him to level 4. Alright, that's good. I start battling for trophies. I got lots of bronze crate here that are filling up the slot. Day 11. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to collect some resources from my Larry Trophy Road and start my battling. I will try to defeat as many enemies as possible. Defeat this Scar, this Fen, another one here, there we go, and continue grinding for as many trophies as I can. I open some of the bronze crate from the slot and continue battling again. Defeat this Finn, defeat this Louie, this Pepper here, and after winning this battle, I managed to come across my first gold crate to fill up the slot. There we go. And continue grinding for more trophies again. And after some grinding, I was able to reach League 7. And these are the available characters I can unlock. And I continue battling again, and gaining more trophies. I collected some resources from my Larry Trophy Road and continue grinding for more trophies again. And after a while of grinding, I got a golden toolbox. Day 12 
So I opened all of the bronze crate from the slot and I decided to open this gold crate to see if I could get a new character. So I'm going to use my 5 second trick and then tap on it. Nothing so far. So I decided to waste 23 gems to reroll and it's unlocking me a new character, Yara. Alright, that's awesome. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is continue battling with my Larry, defeating this Holly right here, and continue grinding for as many trophies as I can. I collect some gems from Larry Trophy Road, and continue grinding for more trophies again. Anyways, the slot is full and I have unlocked one character so far. Day 13 So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to open this golden toolbox. So I'm not going to wait 5 seconds for this. Anyways, I continue battling with my Larry for more trophies. So next, I grab Paolo and upgrade him to level 4. And start my battling, trying to defeat as many enemies as I can. Defeat this Gluey here, trapping this Fuzzy. Oh, and I got grabbed it by Earl. Anyways, I defeated him and won the game. But this time, I managed to come across another gold crate. There we go. I'm going to open this silver crate and unlock this gold crate by timing. And continue battling again, grinding for more trophies. I collected some resources from Paolo Trophy Row and continue to grind for as many trophies as I can. And so after a while grinding, I managed to come across another gold crate to fill up the slot. So I will unlock them by timing. Day 14 So after opening all of the bronze crate, I continue to grind my Paolo until I reach almost a thousand trophies, which enable me to reach League 8. And now I can unlock these available characters, including Earl. Anyways, I collected some resources from my Paolo trophy road, and next I grab Ollie and upgrade to level 3 and start my battling. This legendary guard here. Oh, and this pepper right here. Now Ollie is really good at using the bow. It's effective and powerful shooting long range shot. Anyways, feeding this buck and allowing me to win the game. Anyways, I continue to grind for as many trophies as I possibly can. And after some more battles, I managed to come across another gold crate. And there we go. And I continue to grind for more trophies again. I collected some resources from Ollie Trophy Road, grinding for more trophies and came across a silver toolbox which filled up the slot. Day 15 So after opening the silver toolbox, I'm going to unlock this gold crate by timing. So next, I upgrade Ollie a bit and continue my battling for more trophies. Anyways, in this battle, I got defeated by Fuzzy, losing some trophies, so I decided to hide throughout the next game subscribe. Anyway, in the end, I got defeated by Milo and gained some trophies. Day 16 So after opening a bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to collect some resources from Ollie Trophy Road and start opening these gold crates. So let's start with this one. So again, I'm going to wait for 5 seconds and then tap on it. Nothing so far. So I wasted my gem and reroll and it's unlocking me a new character, Pepper. Alright. So let's open the second gold crate. So again, I'm going to wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it, nothing so far. I wasted gem to reroll, but I still got nothing. Anyways, let's open this last gold crate. Again, I'll try to wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it, nothing so far. I wasted gem to reroll, and I still got nothing. Alright, so anyways, the next thing I'll do is grab Iris and upgrade to level 4. And start my battling. Beating this Skippy, this Bruce, and lastly, this Fuzzy right here, and I won the game. And after some grinding, I was able to reach League 9. And now, I can unlock these available characters. Next, I collected some resources from Iris Trophy Road and grind until I reach almost a thousand trophies. I collected some more resources from Iris Trophy Road. Alright, so next, I grab Bruce and upgrade him to level 3 and continue battling, defeating as many enemies as possible. Got some trophies, continue battling again, defeating these guard, this Larry, another Larry here, this Molly. Anyway, this Henry trying to defeat me, but we both destroyed each other. So I decided to stop since Bruce is way too hard to grind for more trophies. So next, I grab Yara and start my battling, defeating this Nyx, and this Donna right here, gain more trophies. But in the next battle, I got defeated by Pepper, gain a bit of trophies. Start another battle, this Duke won't let me alone so I defeated with a spear, but I got killed by Faye, and gained some more trophies. 
started another battle and got killed by Bruce. But this time, I managed to come across a gold crate. In the next battle, I tried to hide and in the end, I won the game and continue grinding for as many trophies as I can. Anyway, I decided to upgrade Yara to level 3 and grind until I reach almost a thousand trophies, which enabled me to reach League 10. And now I can unlock these available characters. Day 17 So after collecting some of the resources from Yara Trophy Road, I'm going to open this gold crate right here. So again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it and oh my god, it's unlocking me a new character. Jade! Wow, this is really rare. Alright, so next, I grab Bruce and continue my battling. This time, I'll try to defeat as many enemies as possible while hiding. Defeat this Duke, the Shelly, finally the Slary, and I won the game. And continue grinding for as many trophies as I can. And throughout some battle, I managed to come across another gold crate. Grinding for some more and I got a bronze crate. Day 18 So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to open this gold crate. And so again, I'll wait for 5 seconds, tap on it, nothing so far, but I'm not going to reroll. Next, I grab Max and try to upgrade him to level 5 and start my battling. Now Max is really good at defeating enemies, and it's kind of like Nyx, but way stronger. So anyways, defeat this Henry, defeat this Molly, killing these guards, defeat this Nyx, and in the end, I defeated Donna and I won the game, and continue grinding for more trophies. And after a while, I was able to reach League 11. And now, I can unlock these available characters. Next, I continued to grind my Max until I reached almost a thousand trophies. And next, I collected some of the resources from Max Trophy Road, and I'm going to grab Pepper and try to upgrade to level 5. And start my battling. Now, Pepper is obviously really good at defeating enemies using ranged snipe shots. The snakes right here. The Shelly right here. Anyway, I tried to grind as many trophies as possible, and after some time grinding, I managed to come across another gold crate, which is enough to fill the slot. Day 19 So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to grab Jade and start upgrading to level 3, and start battling. So Jade is extremely powerful which allow me to easily destroy a lot of enemies. Defeating this buck and this Milo here. At the end, I defeated another Jade and won the game. And I continue to grind for as many trophies as possible. And after a while, I was able to reach League 12. And now I can unlock Eli. Next, I continue to grind for more trophies with my Jade. Collect some resources from Jade Trophy Road. Alright, so for this gold crate here, let's open it. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it, nothing so far. I wasted gem re-rolling it and it's unlocking me a new character, Fuzzy. Nice! Alright, so next, I'll chose Fuzzy and start my battling. And I will try to defeat as many enemies as I can. There we go, and there we go, I won the game. But this time, I got myself another golden crate. There we go. And continue grind for as many trophies as possible. And after this battle, I managed to come across another gold crate. Alrighty. Which are enough to fill the slot. And now, I'll unlock it by timing. Day 20. So this is the final day of part 2. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to collect some resources from Fuzzy Trophy Road really quickly. Alright, so next I'll chose Paolo and upgrade him to level 5 and start battling. And after a while, I got destroyed by Fuzzy. Started another battle and I'm trying to defeat this high level Shelly right here. And there we go. I won the battle and gained more trophies. Next, I chose Max and decided to battle and grind for a bit more trophies. Alright. Next, I'll open some of the bronze crate from the slot and let's start opening these gold crate. So let's start off with this first one. Again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. 
and then tap on it. Nothing so far, so I wasted gem re-rolling it, and it's unlocking me a new character, Eli. Wow, that is extremely rare that it just happened. So anyways, for this last gold crate here, again, let's wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it, and it's unlocking me a new character, Tony. Wow, that is insane. Alright, and I have two more characters. Day 21. Alright, so what I'll do is chose my new character Eline from my last episode and start my battling. I try to defeat as many enemies as possible and grind for as many trophies as I can. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate and continue my battling, defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies again. Start more battle and defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies. Back to battling again and grind for more trophies again until I reach almost a thousand trophies which is enough for me to be able to reach League 13. And now I can unlock the new character Joy. I collected some resources from Eline Trophy Road and I will unlock this crate by timing. Day 22 so after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to open this skull crate. So I will use my 5 second trick to see if it works. Tap on it, I got nothing and I'm not going to reroll. Next, I decided to play this mini door game to win some crates. Alright, so the first door, I got 5 tokens. And to win this game, I will try not to click on the door that was previously taken by the guard. The second door here, I got a wooden crate. Alright, for the third door, I got 5 tokens. And for this 4th door, I got 9 tokens. For this 5th door, I got my first gold crate. Nice. For this 6th door, I got 3 gems. For this 7th door, I got some coins. For this 8th door, I got a bronze crate. For this 9 door, I got more coins. And for this 10 door, I got 10 gems. For this 11 door, I got some more coins again. For this 12 door, I got 7 gems. For this 13 door, I got a silver crate. And for this 14 door, I got 15 tokens. And for this 15 door, I got 2 emerald crates, which is awesome. For this 16 door, I got another gold crate. For this 17 door, I got 9 gems. And for this 18 door, I got some more coins. For this 19 door, I got 10 gems. But last but not least, for this last door, I got 171 gems, but it's alright. That was pretty lucky. Alright, let's collect the rewards. Alright, for this emerald crate, let's wait for 5 seconds. And then I tap on it, and it's unlocking a new character. Skippy. Nice! Alright, for this emerald crate, let's wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it, nothing so far, so I wasted my gem to reroll and it's unlocking me a new character, Milo. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, for this skull crate, let's wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it, nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, for this last skull crate, again, let's wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. And collect the rest. So we got Skippy and Milo. Next, I grab Skippy and upgrade to level 8. Perfect. And start my battling. Defeating more enemies. And after this first battle, I managed to come across a gold crate to fill the slot. And I continue my battle again. Defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies. And so the slot is full, so I will unlock these crates by timing. 
Day 23. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, let's open this gold crate. So again, let's wait for 5 seconds to see if we can unlock a new character. Tap on it, and it's unlocking a new character. Ravi. Wow, nice. Next, I started another game and continue to keep battle with my Skippy. Defeat this Larry here. And continue to grind for more trophies. Day 24. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I continue to battle with my Skippy again. And after a while of grinding, I come across another gold crate to fill up the slot. There we go. And continue battling for more trophies again. And after a while of grinding, I come across another gold crate to fill up the last slot. So I will unlock them by timing. Day 25. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I continue to battle with my Skippy for more trophies again. And after some more battle, I come across a very rare emerald crate to fill up the slot. Next, I open this bronze crate and continue battling and grinding for more trophies again. And again, after a while of grinding, I manage to come across my last gold crate, so I will unlock them by timing. Day 26. So the crates need more time to unlock, so I continue to grind my Skippy until I reach almost a thousand trophies. Day 27. So all of these crates are ready to open, I'm going to start collecting some resources from my Skippy Trophy Road. Alright, and now let's start opening this gold crate here. So again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Jack. But Jack is already in the main trophy road reward, so I decided to reroll, which unlocks a new character, Louie. Not bad. Alright, so for this next gold crate, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, let's open this gold crate first. Wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing, I reroll, and I still got nothing. And now for this final emerald crate, let's wait for 5 seconds again. I tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Frank. Nice. Alright, so next I grab Milo and start my battling. Again, I will try to defeat as many enemies as possible. And grind for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate. But the slot is full, so I will unlock it by timing. Day 28. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to continue battling with my Milo. Defeat more enemies, and grind for more trophies again. Day 29. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to battle with my Milo again. Try to defeat high level players in order to win the game. And after a while of grinding, again I managed to come across another gold crate. And continue battling again, defeating more enemies, and grind for as many trophies as possible until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 30. So this is the final day of part 3. So all the crates are ready to open, but first I'll start collecting resources from Milo Trophy Road. Alright, and now let's first open this bronze crate. And now let's open this gold crate. And so again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far. I reroll and still got nothing. Alright, last but not least for this final gold crate. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing, and so I wasted my gem reroll and got nothing, but I try rerolled again for the third time, and it's unlocking a new character, Faye. Alright, that's great. Day 31. So I will chose my new character Faye unlocked from the last episode and start my battling. I try to defeat as many enemies as possible. Nice. And gaining more trophies. Continue battling again. Nice and grind for as many trophies as I can until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And throughout some battle, these are the crates I got and I will unlock all of them by timing. Day 32 So all of these crates are ready to open, but first I'll collect some resources from Faye Trophy Road. Nice! Alright, and let's start opening these bronze crates first. And now for the gold crate. And so I'll use my 5 second trick before opening. 
Now let's tap on it. Got nothing. And I'm not going to reroll. Now for the last gold crate. And so again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Steve. Okay, nice. Alright, next, I get Steve and start my battling. I will try to defeat as many enemies as possible. There we go. And grinding for more trophies, which is enough for me to be able to reach League 14. And now I can unlock these available characters. And continue battling again. But this time, by hiding. Subscribe. And continue grind for as many trophies as I can. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate. There we go. And after some more grinding, the slot is now full, so I will unlock all of these crates by timing. Day 33. So after opening all of the bronze crate from the slot, I'm going to continue battling with my Steve and grinding for as many trophies as I can. I open some more bronze crate from the slot and continue battling and grinding for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across another gold crate. And there we go. And I continue to grind a bit more until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I will unlock all of these crates by timing. Day 34. So all of these crates are ready to open, but first, I'll collect some resources from Steve Trophy Road. Alright, and let's start opening these bronze crates. And now for the gold crate. And so again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. And then tap on it. Got nothing. And I'm not going to reroll. Now for this gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, but I wasted my gem to reroll and it's unlocking a new character, Gwen. Okay, that's pretty rare. Alright, and there's our new character. Next, I chose Tony and upgrade him to level 5. And start battling, defeating enemies, and grind for as many trophies as I can. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a golden toolbox, which fill up the slot and I will unlock it by timing. Day 35 So I continue to battle with Tony, defeat more enemies, and grind for as many trophies as I can until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And all these crates are ready to open, but I'll start collecting some resources from Tony Trophy Road. Alright, and now for these bronze crates. And now for this gold toolbox. Alright, great. And next, I chose Frank and tried to upgrade him to level 5. And start my battling, defeating more enemies. And after this first battle, I managed to come across a gold crate. And there we go. And continue to grind for as many trophies as I can. And after some time grinding, these are all of the crates I got. Day 36 Alright, so all of these crates are ready to open, but for now, I'll open all of the bronze crates. And continue my battling, and grinding for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across another gold crate. And also, I was able to reach League 15. And now I can unlock the new character Sat and continue grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I'll unlock all of these crates by timing. Day 37. So all of these crates are ready to open, but I'll start opening this bronze crate. And let's collect some resources from Frank Trophy Road. Alright, and let's start with this gold crate. Let's wait for 5 seconds. Have on it, nothing so far. I reroll and I still got nothing. For this next gold crate, again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Betsy. Alright, nice. Alright, and now for this last gold crate. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Nothing so far, so I wasted my gem to reroll and it's unlocking a new character. Finn. Alright, this is great. 
And there we go, we got Finn and Bessie. Next, I chose Ravi and started my battling and grinding for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate. And the slot is full, so I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 38 So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's start with these bronze crates. And now for the gold crate, and again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, I got nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. So next, I continue to grind for more trophies with my Ravi. And after a while of grinding, again, I managed to come across another gold crate. Grind for a bit more. Alright, and I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 39 So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's start with these bronze crates. And now for the final gold crate. Alright, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Earl! Oh my god, wow, I can't believe that it just happened. And there we go, we got our new character Earl. And next, I continue to battle with Ravi. Day 40. So this is the final day of part 4. So I've been grinding for trophy with Ravi until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And these crates are ready to open. But first, I'll collect some resources from Ravi Trophy Road. And now for these bronze crates. And this silver crate here. Day 41. So to start off, I'm going to stop grinding with Ravi and I'll start choosing Betsy and upgrade to level 4. And for this path of pause here, I should definitely start doing these missions. So I need to win around with the most kills, kill 5 characters, and kill 8 guards. Alright, easy enough, so I'll start battle and try to kill as many enemies as I can. And grinding for more trophies. Anyways, I have finished all the missions for level 1, so let's collect them all. Alright, and now for level 2 missions. I need to run 1,643 yards, open 4 crates, and win 4 matches. Alright then, so I continue to battle with Betsy, and yeah, just continue running around this rock. Anyway, defeat more enemies, and after some battle, I managed to come across an emerald crate, and continue grind for more trophies. Alright, and after a while, for the mission, I only need to open one more crate before I can collect, but I'll do it tomorrow. Day 42 so all the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. But if you also notice, all of these crates have these Paco icons. Yeah, I can have a chance to unlock Paco. So anyways, let's see. Oh, and it's unlocking Paco. Wow, let's go. Alright, nice. And for this emerald crate, I'm not going to open it yet. Anyway, let's collect the Path of Paul missions. Alright, nice! So next, for the level 3 mission, I need to win around with the most kills, use 10 health kits, and kill 13 characters. But not for long though, we only have 50 minutes left so let's go. I continue to battle and grind for as many trophies as I can, and throughout some battle, I have managed to come across a gold crate, and continue grinding again. And yeah, after some grinding, I didn't have the time to continue the mission. Day 43 so all the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. Alright, and now for the gold crate, so let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, and I got nothing. Anyways, I continue to grind for more trophies. And after a while, I managed to come across a gold crate, and continue to grind for more trophies. And as you can see, the path of Paul is back, so let's see. Oh, and there we go, I have finished the mission, so let's collect them all. Alright, and now let's check level 2 mission. So I need to win around with the most kills, use 8 health kits, and kill 11 characters. But for now, I'll need to unlock these crates by timing. Day 44 So all of the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. Alright, and now for this gold crate, again let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, and I got nothing. And by the way, I'm not going to open this emerald crate yet, and continue to grind for more trophies with Betsy. But after some battle, I don't know why, but I managed to come across another gold crate to fill up the slot. Continue to grind for more trophies, and I was able to reach League 16. And these are the available characters I can unlock. And I have also finished the mission, so let's collect them all. Nice. 
and for these crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 45 So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. Alright, and now for this gold crate, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, I got nothing, but I decided to waste my gem to reroll and it's unlocking a new character, Ruby. Alright, nice. And anyway, I'm not going to open this emerald crate yet. Alright, and now let's check the path of Paw. So for the mission, I need to use 7 health kits, kill 5 guards, and win 5 matches. Easy enough, so let's continue battling and grinding for more trophies. And after a while, I've finished all the missions, so let's collect them all. Alright, and we have a gold crate, so let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Anyways, for my next mission level, I need to kill 2 enemies that are in the water, swim 871 yards, and kill 5 bucks with pepper. But before we battle, I'll start collecting some resources from Betsy Trophy Road. And so let's continue battle with pepper, defeating these bucks, grinding for more trophies, and I managed to come across a gold crate. Anyways, after a while of grinding, I've finished all these missions, so let's collect them all. And so we have this gold crate, so let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Collecting the rest, and I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 46 So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. Alright, and now for the gold crate, so let's wait for 5 seconds. Tab on it, nothing so far, but I wasted my gem to reroll and it's unlocking a new character, Henry. Nice. And anyways, I'm not going to open this emerald crate yet. Next, I chose Finn and upgrade him to level 4. Alright, and for the next mission level, so I need to win 2 matches, use 13 health kits, and kill 10 guards. Seemed pretty easy enough, so let's battle. So I tried to defeat more enemies and grinding for more trophies. And after some time, I managed to come across another gold crate. Continue to grind for more trophies. And for the path of pause, I have finished all the missions, so I will collect them tomorrow. Day 47 So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. Alright, and now for the gold crate, and again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, got nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, and now let's collect all of these mission rewards. And for the next mission level, I need to win 2 matches, win a round playing any team game mode, and win a round with the most kills. But before we actually start battling, I need to unlock the team mode. So let's go to the main trophy road and start collecting. And as you can see, the main trophy road has been updated, and now I can unlock Duke. So let's tap on him, and there we go. We have unlocked a new character, Duke. And there, I have unlocked the new team mode. And let's just collect some more. The skin here, and it's unlocking Mystic Frank skin. And I'm going to stop right here. Alright, and there we go, let's start battling. Defeating as many enemies as possible. So I try to defeat more enemies and grinding for more trophies. And after a while, I have finished all the missions, but I'll collect them tomorrow. Day 48 So all the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening them. And I'm not going to open this ammo crate yet. Alright, and now let's collect the Path of Paw mission rewards. And we got this ammo crate here, so let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Shelly, alright, there we go, nice. And for the next mission level, I need to swim 671 yards, run 4714 yards, and win 8 matches. Anyway, gain some trophies, and after a while, and as you can see, I need to keep grinding. So I start running Finn around this rock right here, swim some more, and after some battle, I managed to come across a gold crate. And I continue to keep grinding for as many trophies as I can. And after a while of grinding, I can now unlock all these missions. But I'll collect them tomorrow. Day 49 So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. Alright, and now for this gold crate here, so let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, got nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. Anyways, let's collect some resources from Finn Trophy Road. Alright, and now let's collect all these mission rewards. 
and there we go we get an ammo crate so let's wait for five seconds i tap on it oh and it's unlocking a new character edna all right nice all right and now for the final mission level so i need to kill eight characters run 5,000 yards and play 24 matches in any team mode wow that is a lot but let's go so i chose henry because he is fast and let's start battling try to defeat as many enemies as possible and try to win the battle and grinding for as many trophies as i can and after a while i managed to find a gold crate and continue battling again win the round and continue grinding for as many trophies as i can but throughout some battle i got defeated by a stronger team but i still grind for more trophies day 50 so this is the final day of part 5 so all of the crates are ready to open and the missions are completed. But first, I'll collect some resources from Henry Trophy Road. And let's open these bronze crates first. Alright, and now for this gold crate. So let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, got nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, and let's collect the Path of Paw rewards. So let's collect them all. Nice. Alright, nice, and I have enough token which allow me to unlock this legendary crate, so let's open it. Alright, so let's wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Wanda, let's go, nice. Alright, and now I'll go ahead and open this last ammo crate too. And again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, and nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, and now let's collect some rewards from the main trophy road. So we got this gold crate here, so let's open it. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. I tap on it and got nothing so far. I wasted my gem, still nothing. But you know what? I wasted my gem again and it's unlocking a new character. Sack! Alright, wow, nice. Continue collecting the rewards. And we have this random skin here and we got lord earl skin let's go that's my favorite skin right there all right and i'll stop from here and i decided not to continue collecting since i need to unlock more new character before opening this emerald crate day 51 so to start off i'm going to choose my next character shelly and start upgrading to level 5 and before i start the battle i'm going to check the path of paw missions here skip the instructions so for the missions i need to win one match kill five characters and kill eight guards easy enough so let's start the battle and as always i will try to defeat as many enemies as i can and grind for more trophies and after a while of grinding i managed to come across an emerald crate and continue grinding for more trophies and so after i have completed all the missions i will unlock all of these crates by timing day 52 so all of the crates are ready to open but let's start collecting the mission rewards collect them all all right and now let's open these crates first i'll start opening the bronze crate all right and now for this emerald crate and so i'll use my old trick and wait for five seconds before tapping on it and there we go and we have unlocked a new character donna a pretty tanky character to have and i'm not going to reroll all right and now let's check the next missions so i need to kill three guards win around playing any team game mode and use 15 health kits all right easy enough so i continue to grind with shelly defeating as many enemies as possible and there we go i won the round and for this battle i managed to come across a gold crate and I continue to battling and grinding for a bit more trophies. Day 53. And so all of the crates are ready to open, but let's start collecting the mission rewards. Collect them all. Alright, and now let's open these crates. So I'll start opening the bronze crates. Alright, and now for this gold crate here. And so again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. Tab on it, got nothing, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, and now let's check the next missions. So I need to run 1786 yards, win 3 matches, and open 9 crates. Easy enough, so I continue battling with Shelly and continue to run myself around this boulder so no one can see me. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across another gold crate and continue grinding for as many trophies as I can. 
and after some grinding, the slot is full and I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 54. So all of the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening these bronze crates. And for this gold crate, I decided not to open it yet. Alright, and now let's start collecting the mission rewards. Nice. And I get this gold crate here, so again, I'll wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. And for the next missions, I need to use 8 health kits, play 9 matches in any team game mode, and win 6 matches. Alright, seem pretty easy. So let's continue the gameplay using Jelly, defeating more enemies throughout the battle. And after a while of grinding, I managed to find a gold crate. And continue to keep grinding until I reach almost a thousand trophies. I've also finished the missions, and for the crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 55. So all the crates are ready to open, I'll go ahead and open these bronze crate, and I decided not to open these gold crate yet. I'll go ahead and collect some resources from Shelly Trophy Road. Alright, and now let's collect the mission rewards. And we got a gold crate here, so again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, but you know what, I decided to reroll, and it's unlocking a new character, Romeo. Alright, that's a pretty good character to have. Collecting the rest. Alright, and now for the next missions, so I need to open 4 crates, kill 5 enemies inside a bush, and kill 6 brews with Nyx. You know what, that's a bit hard, but let's see what I can do. So I chose Nyx and started the battle. I tried to find and defeat as many brews as I could throughout the battle. But unfortunately, I forgot to check the time and so the path of Paul has ended. Day 56. So for my next character, I chose Edna and upgrade to level 5. And start my battle. Now Edna is pretty easy to defeat enemies and is definitely easy to win the game. And grinding for more trophies which allow me to reach League 17. And now I can unlock the new character, Kali. I continue to battle with Edna, grinding for more trophies, and after a while of battling, I managed to come across a gold crate, and continue grinding for more trophies. Day 57. So all the crates are ready to open, I'll go ahead and open this bronze crate, and I decided not to open these gold crates yet. Next, I continue battling with Edna, defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across my last gold crate to fill the slot, and continue grinding until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 58. So all the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening them. Let's start off with this gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. This next gold crate, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Susie, okay, nice. And I decided not to open these last two gold crates yet. But I do have to collect Edna resources from the trophy road. Next, I chose Donna and started upgrading to level 5. And start my battle. And Donna is actually pretty tanky for defeating enemies. And grinding for more trophies. Day 59. I continue to keep battling with Donna and defeating more enemies and grinding for as many trophies as I can. And after some grinding, the slot is full so I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 60. So all the crates are ready to open but I will only start opening these bronze crates and I'll leave these gold crate for later. And continue battling with Donna, chomping and defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for the crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 61. So all of the crates are ready to open, but first let's start collecting resources from Donna Trophy Road. And now I will only start opening this bronze and silver crate, alright? And I'll leave these gold crates for later. Next, I chose Quinn and start battling, defeating as many enemies as possible and grinding for more trophies. And the slot is full, so I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 62. So all the crates are ready to open, but I will only start opening these bronze crates, leaving these gold crates for later, and continue battling with Quinn. Defeating more enemies. And after a while, I managed to come across a gold crate. Continue my battling. And grinding for more trophies. 
And after a while, the slot is full, so I will unlock this crate by timing. Day 63. So all of the crates are ready to open, but I will only open this bronze crate, leaving these gold crates for later, and continue battling with Quinn, defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I will unlock the crate by timing. Day 64. So all of the crates are ready to open, but first let's collect some resources from Quinn Trophy Road. And now let's open this bronze crate here. And next I chose Louis and start upgrading to level 4. Alright, and now let's start battling. Again, defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies. And now the slot is full so I'll unlock it by timing. Day 65. So all the crates are ready to open but I will only open this silver crate and leaving these gold crates for later and continue battling with Louis, grinding for more trophies. And again, I will unlock this bronze crate by timing. Day 66. So all the crates are ready to open but again I will open this bronze crate for now and continue battling with Louis, grinding for as many trophies as possible. Day 67. I still continue to grind for trophies with Louis until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I'm unlocking this bronze crate by timing. Day 68. So all of the crates are ready to open, but first I'll collect some resources from Louis Trophy Road. Alright, and let's first open this bronze crate. Alright, and now for the gold crate. So again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it unlocks a new character. Lizzie. Alright, that's pretty good. And now for the second gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. And you know what? I'm not going to reroll. And finally, this last gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Nothing so far. And I'm not going to reroll. Alright, next, I chose Susie and start my battling. Again, defeating as many enemies as possible. And grind for as many trophies as possible. Which is enough for me to reach peak 18. And after a while of grinding, the slot is now full so I will unlock them by timing. Day 69. So all the crates are ready to open so let's open them all. And next, continue to battle with Suzy. And after some time, I managed to come across a gold crate. And continue grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I will unlock these crates by timing. Day 70. So all of the crates are ready to open, but first I'll collect some resources from Suzy Trophy Road. Alright, let's open these crates. And I'll leave the gold crate for later. Next, I chose Wanda and started upgrading to level 5. And now let's start battling. And as always, defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies. Day 71. So I continue battling with Wanda and grinding for more trophies until the slot is full so I'll unlock them by timing. Day 72. So all the crates are ready to open but I will only open the normal crates first and I'll leave the skull crate for later and continue my battle with Wanda again, defeating more enemies and grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for these crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 73. So all the crates are ready to open but first I'll collect some resources from Wanda Trophy Row. Alright, and now let's open these bronze crates. And I'll save this skull crate for later. Next, I chose Sack and started upgrading to level 5. And start my battling. Again, I try to defeat more enemies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to find a golden toolbox. And continue to keep grinding for more trophies. Day 74. So I continue to keep battle with Sack, grinding for as many trophies as I can. And so the slot is full, so I'll unlock them by timing. Day 75. So all of the crates are ready to open, so I open all the normal crates and continue battling with Sack and grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for the crates, I'll unlock them by timing. 
day 76. So all the crates are ready to open, but first I'll collect some resources from Sack's Trophy Road. And now let's open the normal crates first. Alright, and now for this gold crate. And so again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far. But I decided to waste my gem to reroll, and it's unlocking a new character, Kali. Okay, nice. Next, I chose Ruby and start upgrading to level 5. And start my battling. Again, defeating more enemies. And grind for as many trophies as I could until I was able to reach League 19. And anyways, I will unlock all of these crates by timing. Day 77. So all of the crates are ready to open, so let's open all of them. Alright, next I continue to keep battle with Ruby. And after a while, I managed to come across a gold crate. And continue to grind for more trophies. Grinding for more trophies until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for the crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 78. So all the crates are ready to open, but first I'll collect some resources from Ruby Trophy Road. And now let's open the normal crates first. And now for this gold crate here. And so again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Next, I chose Paco and started upgrading to level 3. And start my battling. Again, defeating as many enemies as possible. And continue to grind for more trophies. And after a while, the slot is full so I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 79. So all the crates are ready to open, so let's start opening all of them. And anyways, continue to battle with Paco, defeating more enemies. And grind for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate. And continue to grind a bit more, until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And now, I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 80. So, all of these crates are ready to open, but first, let's collect some resources from Paco Trophy Road. And now, let's open these bronze crates. And now, let's open this gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Next, I chose Romeo and started upgrading to level 5. And start my battle. Defeating more enemies and grind for as many trophies as I possibly can. After a while, the slot is full, so I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 81. So all the crates are ready to open, so I'll go ahead and open all of these crates. And again, continue battling, and grinding for more trophies. Day 82. So I still continue to battle and grind for more trophies with Romeo until I reach almost a thousand trophies. Day 83. So, all the crates are ready to open, so I'll just go ahead and open all of these crates. Alright. Next, I chose Kali and start my battling. Try to defeat more enemies. And after a while of grinding for trophies, I managed to come across a gold crate and continue grinding for more trophies. Day 84. I continue to grind for more trophies with Kali. And the slot is full, so I'll unlock the crates by timing. Day 85. So, all the crates are ready to open, but I'll just go ahead and only open all of these bronze crates and continue my battle, defeating more enemies and grind until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for all of these crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 86. So all of the crates are ready to open, but I'll just go ahead and collect some resources from Kali Trophy Road. And now I'll only open all of these normal crates, and I'll save this gold crate for later. And next, I chose Duke and started upgrading to level 5. and start my battle. Again, using skill and defeating as many enemies as possible and grinding for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across another gold crate and continue to keep grinding for more trophies. 
and I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 87. So all of these crates are ready to open, so let's just start opening this gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. And now for the bronze crate. And finally, this gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Next, I continue to battle with Duke, try to defeat more enemies, and grind for more trophies. Day 88. So, I continue to keep grinding with Duke until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 89. So, all of the crates are ready to open, but first, I'll collect some resources from Duke Trophy Road. Alright, and now let's open all of these crates. Next, I chose Earl and start battling. Now, Earl is my favorite character to play with, and I managed to defeat a lot of enemies with it. Anyways, grinding for more trophies. Day 90. So I continue to keep grinding with Earl. And after a while of battling, I managed to come across a gold crate. And continue grinding for a bit more. And I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 91. So all of these crates are ready to open. So let's just start opening the bronze crate. And finally, the skull crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. And next, I continue to keep grinding until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And the slot is full, so I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 92. All the crates are ready to open, but first, let's collect some resources from Earl Trophy Road. And now, let's open all of these crates. Next, I decided to start collecting rewards from the main trophy road. So let's start open this emerald crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Jack. Alright. And I continue to keep collecting all of these rewards. Alright, and I decided to stop right here. And there we go, our new character Jack. Next, I chose Lizzie and started upgrading to level 3. And start my battle. Again, try to defeat as many enemies as possible and grind for more trophies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate. And I continue to keep grinding for more trophies. And now, I'll unlock this crate by timing. Day 93. So all of the crates are ready to open, so let's first open these bronze crates. And now for the skull crate here. And again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. And next, I continue to battling with Lizzie, defeating more enemies, and continue to keep grinding for more trophies, until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And now, I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 94. All the crates are ready to open, but let's collect some resources from Lizzie's Trophy Road. And now let's open all of these crates. Next, I chose Jack and started upgrading to level 3. And start my battling, defeating more enemies. And keep grinding for more trophies. And I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 95. So, all the crates are ready to open, so I'll just go ahead and open all of these crates and continue more battles. And after a while of grinding, I managed to find a gold crate. Again, keep grinding for more trophies. Until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for these crates, I'll unlock them by timing. Day 96. All of the crates are ready to open, but let's start collecting resources from Jack Trophy Road. And now let's open all of these bronze crate first. And finally this gold crate here. So again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Next, I decided to keep collecting from the main trophy road. Let's open this gold crate here, wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. And continue to keep collecting.
Alright, and now for this emerald crate here. So let's open it. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Molly. Okay, nice. And let's just keep collecting. And there's this gold crate here. Again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Nothing so far. And I'm not going to reroll. Continue collecting. And I decided to stop right here. Next, I chose Molly and start my battling. Again, defeating more enemies. And Molly is actually pretty strong. And keep riding for more trophies. And after a while, the slot is full so I'll unlock these crates by timing. Day 97. So, all the crates are ready to open so I'll just go ahead and open all of these crates. Next, I continue to keep battling with Molly and defeating more enemies. And after a while of grinding, I managed to come across a gold crate. And continue to keep grinding for a bit more until I reach almost a thousand trophies. And for the crates, I'll unlock it by timing. Day 98. All the crates are ready to open, but let's collect some resources from Molly Trophy Road. And now let's open all of these bronze crates first. And finally, the skull crate here. And again, let's wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Alright, next, I decided to continue collecting from the main trophy road. So let's open this legendary crate. And again, definitely wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh, and it's unlocking a new character. Joy! Alright, let's go! Alright, and continue to keep collecting. Oh, and let's open this legendary toolbox here. I don't think I should wait 5 seconds for a toolbox, but we're just going to do it anyway. We got some rare items, and continue collecting a bit more, and I'll start right here. Next, I chose Joy and start my battling. Now this character is pretty fun to play with, and it's definitely easy to defeat enemies. And keep grinding for more trophies. Day 99 I kept grinding for more trophies and I was able to reach League 20 Which is the last league in Suba at the moment And now I can unlock the black crate in the main trophy road Day 100 This is the final day of this series So I'm not going to open these crates and just go straight ahead to the main trophy road And you know what start collecting So let's open this gold crate here Again let's wait for 5 seconds Tap on it, nothing so far, and I'm not going to reroll. Continue collecting these rewards, and there we go. Finally, our last final crate. Hopefully, I can unlock the last character Ruby. So let's open it. Again, definitely wait for 5 seconds. Tap on it. Oh my god, we did it! It's unlocking the last character Ruby. Alright, and we have done it. Alright, and last but not least, I decided that after I've unlocked all the characters, I will delete the whole account. So here we go. Go to setting, and delete the account, and let's wait for 5 seconds. Yes, I'm sure, and done. And we have done it. So that is it everybody. 100 day unlocks all the characters in Suba. So if you enjoyed this series, don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and take care.